The Great Lakes are making a comeback. A restoration initiative has funded thousands of projects to clean up and restore habitats in the basin. The cleanup of the former Zephyr oil refinery in Muskegon Lake Area of Concern is taking us one step closer to clean, healthy, usable habitat for fish, wildlife, and people. So we're here today in front of the former Zephyr wetland, which sits at the base of the former refinery. This is a wetland that was contaminated with refinery waste, and we have just recently finished cleaning it up. The former Zephyr refinery operated beginning in the 1930s until the late 1960s, producing refined petroleum products such as gasolines, fuel oils, diesels, and naphtha products. When the company went bankrupt, they left a legacy of contamination behind. So it really just smelled like crude oil. It was full of metals, including lead. Sediment has like a lot of oil and grease in it. You know, imagine like little bugs and small fish getting covered in oil. Many species make their home in the Great Lakes wetlands. Fish, turtles, frogs, and birds are just a few animals that rely on this important habitat. Removing toxic substances and restoring habitat helps native species rebound and thrive, a central goal of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. So because there's wetland soils that really hold the contaminants in place, uh, we didn't want to leave it behind. We wanted to just take the contaminants out of the system. So we removed a lot of it. And then to kind of bring back that ecological system, we brought in clean fill, which is not just like topsoil from your garden shop, it's a uh, fill clean material that's really reminiscent of what would be here naturally. So it's a good substrate for the native species to grow in. It's a good substrate for turtles and amphibians to want to live in. After we removed the contaminated material, we have reestablished a new wetland in this place. We have several different types of habitat here. We have emergent plants. We have submergent plants. We have open water areas. So essentially we've created many different habitat regimes for wildlife to come back into this area. Zephyr is key to the whole Muskegon Lake Area of Concern cleanup because partly it's situated at the mouth of the Muskegon River just above the lake and there has already been over 30 million dollars worth of habitat restoration completed, more than 25 million dollars of contaminated sediment cleanups under the Great Lakes Legacy Act and this being just above all of that could have potentially threatened the work that had already been done. Partnerships are the cornerstone of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative Sediment Program, the Legacy Act. EPA share the cost of sediment projects with 35% minimum funded by non-federal sponsors. At the former Zephyr Oil Refinery, Michigan DEQ volunteered to be the non-federal sponsor and help EPA clean up the contamination. We have learned through this project that forming partnerships to remediate and have goals for properties that have been impaired by contamination is one of the best ways for us to reach our goals successfully. This project was partly federally funded and then we've also got our non-federal sponsor. We also worked with the community, we worked with the local stakeholders, we had contractors actually implement the project as well, and then we had other federal agencies as well help us with oversight. So it was really a lot of people to help make this project happen. We're having to dig up a lot of contaminated material that's going to have a great effect on the community. So we did a lot of outreach efforts at the beginning to explain what we were going to be having to do. We did a lot of air monitoring during the project to make sure that there was no impact to the community. And we were very fortunate. The community was very patient with us. So fortunately, that was not a huge impact while we were working. Since we've done so much cleanup on the area of concern itself, we have seen more recreational uses, a lot more economic development, residential developments on the shoreline, and people just feeling better about the place where we live. I hope we see a lot of you know, migratory birds come back, lots of fish populations and the turtles. It's just all about really bringing back these native species and supporting what the community desires as well. It's not necessarily just restoring habitat or removing contamination, it's restoring the economy, it's restoring the recreational capacity of the lake. And it's just such a really, amazing experience for me to see.